A good rule of thumb when thinking about vacation pay payable is that employees with less than five years of service for the most part are entitled to 4% of vacation pay on wages or two paid vacation weeks per year. If you divide two weeks in a year by 52 weeks in a year, it's up around 4%. Similarly, employees who are entitled to three paid weeks of vacation per year or 6% vacation pay, if you divide three weeks into 52 weeks in a year, the nearest whole number is 6%. So the vacation pay expressed as a percentage is essentially how many paid weeks of time off per year that employee is entitled to with regard to the number of weeks in a given year. Finally, on the topic of vacation time and pay, another common misconception is the idea that the employer can implement a use it or lose it vacation policy. A lot of employers do this. They'll say, we, you have three weeks of vacation per year, and if you don't use it by December 31st, it expires. In fact, the Employment Standards Act says that employees are allowed to carry forward vacation up to 10 months into the next vacation year. For most people, the vacation year is the calendar year. The vacation starts occurring on January 1st, stops occurring on January 31st. Some employers will have a different vacation entitlement year that typically starts on the date of the employee's hire or its anniversary. But most of us are on the calendar year and it's a little easier to describe, so we'll use that for now. Now, assume that an employee uses, has three weeks of vacation uh, per calendar year. They only use two weeks by de December 31st. Technically, they're allowed to carry forward that extra week into the following year for use up to October 31st. In addition to the additional vacation that they're accruing in that following calendar year. Even if the employer has a use it or lose it vacation policy or a term as such in the employment contract, that would be considered illegal and not enforceable. Now, there's a gray area with what happens to that unused time that an employee carries forward into another calendar year if they don't use it by October 31st. Are they supposed to be paid out for that time? Does it just expire? What happens? The answer is, I'm not entirely sure. It's possible that an employee could treat it as a debt that's accruing, 